Mystic Seaports began in 1929 with an idea of several businessmen in this small town that they should save some semblance of, of uh, maritime life along this coast. And uh, so they collected small vessels, scrimshaw models, all sorts of maritime artifacts, and uh, made a museum of them. In 1941, when the uh, Charles W. Morgan was brought here, the idea became uh, to create a replica of a village, a whaling village. And so buildings have been brought here from all over the Northeast to replicate that. And uh, now it is the foremost maritime museum in the world, and one that uh, shows you uh, all, all sorts of aspects of 19th century life in a maritime community. Jack was a schemer. The first Sea Music Festival happened in 1980. It's grown to 20 acts, and it's really the largest annual event of this kind in the Western Hemisphere. The Sea Music Festival is a celebration of uh, music of the water. The range of the music of the sea goes from the old work songs that were that evolved on board ship to help sailors uh, with the rhythms of work and to take their minds off the tedium of what they were doing. That's for a Robin Ranza. Ranza me boys, Ranza. They then go the full scope to songs that have been written in the last few days, songs that may be environmental, they may be uh, story songs of some experience they've had that's related to the sea or whatever, but it's a, it's a broad range of, of experience and material. People who come in do remark that this is an incredible body of music that they were not aware of. I think Mystic Seaport is absolutely unique. It's an exciting thing to see in people, the, the excitement that they get out of the history that's told here.